Hi, this is Kim Watson, Visa Trader. Welcome to a midweek review. As I've just returned from a trip abroad, just managed to catch up on reading and uh, see what the views are on the uh, decision that's due to be made tomorrow by the Fed. So it's the interest rate decision, just if you've unlikely missed it, but uh, you may have missed it, as the uh, Fed decision is due tomorrow evening at uh, 7 p.m. out in UK time. And there's a lot of uh, second guessing of what may happen. I've actually read through lots of notes, looked at um, different uh, members. There's 10 voters and looked at what they've been saying recently. And to be fair, they're all sit there's a lot of sitting on the fence going on. There's a couple of obvious um, they should be inter believing that they should increase the interest rate. There's a couple of negatives that they shouldn't touch anything quite yet until mid next year. There's a lot of sitting on the fence. And if there's any any time when it could go either way, I'm sure this is it. Uh, if I think it's quite a fine balance, but I, realistically, they've got a, a really good excuse if they don't want to do it right now because of the Chinese situation, and it may just give them the the out they need. Um, the, the yet another out they need uh, to not do something at the moment, but it really doesn't matter in, in real terms what they do i mean realistically if they increased it by 0.25 which is probably as far as it's ever going to get in, be increased in one go at the moment it's su such a subtle increase it, it may we we would no doubt see some reaction in the, in the currency markets but realistically it is such a subtle increase it uh, probably won't be fed through or cause too much of a, a an issue whatsoever and yeah, but there you go that's what they'll be arguing about tomorrow i'm sure but come trading again it really it shouldn't be an issue for us realistically you should i, I personally would be in cash tomorrow if I, if I was in a position a swing position i'll probably have it hedged because yes i could make a lot of money if it went the right way if it went the wrong way i could equally um uh, sort of uh, lose a lot of money so if you went into a hedge position well you're, you're you're effectively in cash and it's it's a safe position to be why should we be trying to second guess what someone's going to be saying here never much of a, 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 a double or a, trying to second guess any of what happens in politics and, and particularly with the fed uh, the best thing is as i said is just really be looking at what the market's showing us what the technicals are showing us at the moment and trading accordingly now one thing i was looking with the uh, euro dollar here is uh, we have got this sort of nice trend that's been running up here pushed up over the last week or so it almost looks like it wants to give a surge upwards and we may see that in the morning but there is also um, a bit of a uh, i mean i probably mentioned on the shorter uh, more recent uh, uh, daily video updates I do but there is a bit of a head and uh, badly drawn head and shoulders sitting there and if we so we do see um, what's bad news and interest in increase um, tomorrow where well, the euro could t uh, tip over and it may just be the catalyst for the move but if it, it starts running down well we've already air kissed the uh, daily 50 etc so there's a good chance it may move through and we may see a sort of a, a move back to that sort of pivotal area that sits around the 1.09 area uh, to the upside, where well, if it does get uh, some momentum to the upside, we could see it running back to that 117 area. But you've got to bear in mind things aren't that bright and rosy in the eurozone with so many things going on, and any sort of uh, push up there may be relatively short lived. We may see double tops or whatever else, and it may come back within range. Realistically, the range of uh, what we've been seeing over the last few months is probably where it should be, but we'll see. Uh, but this is, I think, the, 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 obviously, the bigger decider is that if increase, if there's an increase to the U.S. rates, uh, we'll more likely see the U.S. Uh, uh, sorry, the euro uh, dollar move back towards these lows. Looking at the pound, just pure technically here, before we consider anything else, it's sort of sitting in this sort of bear, biggish bear flag. It's run into its daily 50, 34 uh, monthly pivot. Lots of things all being hit at one go today. There was some uh, news out that helped uh, spike that up a little bit with a bit of inflation seen in wages. Whether we'll see a breakthrough, I mean, we'll just have to wait if we can break and run through there. That is a good chance we'll run back towards that 1.58159 sort of region uh, once more. 
most likely, uh, I say most likely, is certainly potentially, we could see a pretty much inside day tomorrow and quite trading lower volumes, which in itself can end up with some bigger swings uh, in the market. We'll just have to wait and see what it, it gives us. But a break of the, this sort of little trend line here, well, we may just see a, a sort of a one-to-one a -one ratio um, pushing through, so a one-to-one -one move pushing back towards the key 1.5 uh, pivot which will pivot it area where we've seen these prior lows, uh, sorry, prior highs here may come the point where we'll see some support. Okay, dollar yen very much tied in its range where the Japanese probably like it around the 120 area, it's the, the, the sort of target area they wanted before. Uh, with the exception of the, when the Chinese situation really kicked off, it's 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 returned back towards that sort of range and sitting there quite comfortably at the moment. Again, you, tomorrow's uh, data or tomorrow's decision by the Fed may well give it the, the push it needs in one direction or another for a while at least, but most likely it will eventually end back towards this sort of range. Finally, the Aussie dollar seen some bullishness over the last week we've had a few updates now running pretty close into its week uh, monthly pivot there uh, just for a tap whether it can hold and break it's broken this trend line just fractionally but we're it give, give it a proper break we'll see uh, it's already tested to 50 I was just looking to see if the 50 may be fine of course it could provide resistance there but again it, 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 to me, the bearish the bearish side may well prevail. Any sort of more weakness or or even the slightest sniff of further weakness in China could see this uh, the Aussie coming straight back towards the one sixty eight eighty area, uh, or if not below. So really looking weak purely technically. Fundamentally, we know we've got that decision to be made, uh, and if it's made positively, we could see some of these markets uh, dropping quite strongly as the dollar strengthens but it's not for us to second guess as I said in the first place we should be looking at what the decision is how it affects the market and then trade with the trade with the technicals so there you go hope you have a great one I uh, hope to tomorrow is profitable or it turns out profitable in the end it certainly will give us a bit more of a guidance for Friday and onwards hope you have a great one bye for now